I guess that he's not going to this house. This should be safe. Holy shit. Look at all those goddamn parachutes. Those are the people that are away from keyboards. You want to rack up a good kill score? You go after those guys. <laughs> you know what? I bet one of them is a plant. I bet you not all of them... Oh, fuck. Seriously? Shit. I bet not all those guys are away from keyboard. I bet one of them is a plant that knows most of them are away from keyboard, but he's going to unleash hell on them. Just going to open fire. Of course, on the flip side, there's probably multiple people doing that. And they all probably think that they're the originals, you know? They're the only person that- Ho! Oh! Shit! Run! Fuck! Is that car good? Car's not good. <laughs> That's just my fucking luck, too. Ah, waste your bullets, you son of a bitch. He didn't even pop a cab in my ass. <laughs> I did this myself. I busted my ass when I tripped. I fell like two feet. Lost half my health. Mm. You know what, though? We could be the underdog. Is he still coming after us? No. Smart. This game isn't about getting kills. It's about staying alive. If you have to kill to do that, so be it. But don't seek out danger. If danger comes to you, adapt to it. Deal with it. be pretty badass if that was the same guy that's uh, like uh, in the three survivors you know and we're one of those three survivors so at the end of the game we've got a Mexican standoff kind of like at the end of the good the bad and the ugly who would I be a person I'd want to be angel eyes or blondie but I don't know I might be the Tuco you don't want to be the Tuco <laughs> you never want to be the Tuco you see it's two types of people in this world those with guns, and those who dig. And I don't have any guns, so uh, I'm just digging for guns all across the map, doing whatever I got to do. And as soon as we find a med pack, you know that's that's gone. It's gone. I have to, I have to use that immediately. <laughs> We're at a big disadvantage, but there is something called the underdog theory. You know, we've got got so much stacked against us. It feels like we may as well give up and start over again. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to give this 110 percent. And we might just make it until the end because of that, you know? They say that a man is more likely to succeed if their back's against the wall. If they got no plan B, if they got no way out. That's kind of us right now. <laughs> and then my, head's get, my head gets blasted into the ground beef as soon as I walk in this building. That would be a great end to that monologue. Uh, building's pretty safe, but there's nothing inside of it. We ain't gonna find jack shit. Oh, that's not a good sign. I think this is just a mainly uh, like a coastline building. And there's probably not going to be any loot spawning in here. Yeah, it's a garage. You usually don't find anything in a garage. Oh my god! You got a crossbow and ten bolts. That's pretty lucky, actually. Apparently the crossbow is a really good weapon. This is a one-hit kill weapon. Okay. Now I'm really spooked. <laughs> we have no hell. We have 67 people alive on this map looking to kill us. And I got a goddamn crossbow and 10 bolts. Better hope that I don't have Stormtrooper rain today. This is this is like the perfect scenario for a horror movie. <laughs> I'm stuck on a land full of crazy people. 65 crazy people to be exact. Well, 64. Uh, I broke my goddamn leg. I only got 50% uh, of myself to give, you know? <laughs> That's all I got. Maybe, maybe 45%. And I got a crossbow. Crossbow, broken leg. 64 people looking to kill me. Yeah, this, this, is, this is just shaping up real, real fine. Real fantastic. Crossbows are cool in real life, but... <sighs> Listen, I know there's this whole circle jerk about crossbows in this game being awesome, but... In real life, if I could have a crossbow, or a machine gun, or a shotgun... I'm gonna take the machine gun or the shotgun. Every day out of the week. Every day and twice on Sunday. Ah, oh, shit. Play area is restricting in one minute. We do not have a lot of time to get to the safe zone. Mm. We've just been kind of lollygagging our way to it, but nope. Not anymore. we got to beat our feet. If we're lucky, we'll find a car. 
<laughs> Check this out. Uh, blue circle is about 25 seconds away from killing us. <laughs> and look what we found. Sweet, sweet salvation. I don't know if we could have made it without this car. Mm. That is luck. That is some damn good luck. You know what? This is shaping up. First, we had a broken leg. Bad luck, right? Then, we found a guy inside of a seemingly untouched safe house. She shot at us. Luckily, he's got worse thrown to a brain than I do. He missed every shot. That's our first string of luck. And then, we find a crossbow with ten bolts! And then we find a car. Saving us from the blue electric of death. You know what? I got a good feeling about this match. We may be the underdog. We may not have any health, or any med packs, or any really decent guns aside from the crossbow. But we found a car, and it seems like the game's kind of looking out for us, you know? Let's not get cocky. <laughs> for all we know, our death could be waiting for us in here. Oh boy. See, this is where it gets dangerous. This is the bathroom. Uh, uh, oh my god. A real gun. I'm sorry, Crossbow, but it's true. Nice! Exactly the kind of gun I wanted. This is the perfect thing to sweep and clear this place. I like to call this baby the broom. It's gonna sweep up any enemies inside of here. Right on under the rug. All nice and clean like. No bodies, no mess. No clean. Still good. Okay. Still, uh, <laughs> it could be inside. It could be upstairs. You know what this house kind of reminds me of? Reminds me of the happening. You remember the happening? It was that M. Night Shyamalan movie? Where, uh, Shyamalan and Ding Dong had the plants kill people. <laughs> the plants killed. The plants... The plants were deadly. What a weird universe. Well, everything's deadly in this game. Shit, the plants are deadly too. It could hide an enemy. Alright, we gotta toss something. Actually, no, we don't. Oh, I can pick up those shells. Sweet! Alright, safe house is still safe, but we should probably get our butts out of here soon. Damn. So much ammo. Alright, let's toss the gas can. I feel like the ammo is more valuable to us. Sweet! Alright, what about you, 12 gauge? You good? Awesome! Got 29 shells in reserve. Alright, let's get back to the car. Nice and easy like. Oh shit, you know what would be awesome? If we actually had really good grass physics in games today, we, we could have this game be the ha it could be the happening instead of the blue circle being the uh, the danger zone. Danger zone! Instead of the blue circle being the Kenny Loggins zone, you could have it be uh, uh, grass, you know? Just swaying in the breeze. Instead of blue lightning, it could be the happening. And people are just trying to battle royale the shit out of each other, trying to survive as long as they can. That would be so baller. Okay, time for scary times. Ah, I don't see anybody in the horizon, but God knows what's inside of this house. It's okay, that's just the bombs. That's just the giant napalm fire bombs. <laughs> that's not what I'm worried about. I'm worried about whatever the hell's in here. Let's not forget, we still have, like, no health. I mean, if somebody was gonna ambush us, we'd probably die in one shot anyway, but... Now we're gonna die in half a shot. And that makes me really goddamn nervous. Oh, God. Alright, we're safe, we're safe, we're safe. Anybody could play Resident Evil 7. You know, so-called scary game. This... This is true horror! You're one man, out of 46. You don't know when death is coming. I, I remember that I didn't check that corner fully. I didn't trust it. <laughs> Whew! Alright, let's go get that M16. And hope to God that nobody comes through that door. Ah, shit. Hard to use, good to assassinate. Yeah, yeah, it's really hard to use. Fuck it. I'm taking the M16. And I'm taking that red dot sight. 
I know this probably seems like a bad idea to you guys in chat, but listen, chat, all right? Crossbow's cool and everything, but actually using it is a whole nother story. Let's just stock up on that 556. Reload our M16. Let's keep it nice and simple. Let's also take that 1911. It's a classic. All right. Let's get back out there. Hope we got enough gas. Horizon's still clear. Let's take a second and figure out where we're going. All right, that's the new safe zone, and shit. This is the bad news. We gotta pass through two cities to get to the boonies. I like the boonies. I don't like the city. The city's too no noisy. It's It's got too much gunfire. Oh, fuck. Oh, I got two minutes. Let's go. You really should move out sooner than when you got the two-minute warning, because now everybody's gonna be on their way. Well, everybody except the stupid people. The stupid people, <laughs> they'll be running with the blue at their backs. Not us. Getting a head start. Make sure never to play Daisy again. Yeah. Daisy, man. Mm. It's interesting. Daisy started out as a zombie game, a survival game. You know, you had uh, you had to eat food to survive. You had hydration. You had hunger levels. You had temperature. Oh, oh God! Ho, oh, ho, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> no! No! Yeah! 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 Fuck! Oh, that's my own goddamn fault. Gah! That's what makes it really bad. You know, it's not like I was running from somebody. It's not like somebody T-boned me and I fell into the river. Uh-uh. Mm. Mm. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> this is a horror movie. This is a goddamn horror movie. <laughs> My, my fucking leg's broken. I lost half my health at the beginning of the match. Um, due to my own negligence, I just drove off a fucking cliff because I was scared of the blue lightning. Yeah, we're in a Stephen King novel. We're in a Stephen fucking King novel. Think about it. I broke my leg. I had a man shoot at me. I narrowly escaped. Find a little bit of salvation, a little silver lining, a little glint of hope. And they say battlegrounds are built on hope. But, uh, yeah, I found the crossbow, um, you know, found a car, and the blue lightning comes. Drive the car off a fucking cliff. Still my fault. I wasn't paying enough attention, I got spooked. And then, directly after losing the car, I fucking hurt myself again. I don't know how, I was just walking on rocks. I didn't even fall a great distance. I, I guess I twisted my ankle, because now we have one quarter health. And we're running past a very large city. This couldn't get any worse, could it? <laughs> Outside of being shot in that skull, I don't see any way this is getting worse. Okay, uh, as soon as we pass around the city, we're gonna loop to the right, or the left of the city, but our right. And we're gonna try to make it to the boonies, to the right of that, uh, nuclear stovepipe over there. Alright, let's do it. I'm hoping this wheat's gonna provide a little bit of cover, but I'm not betting on a lot. Seriously? There we go. Very graceful. <laughs> Our guy is very graceful. Looks like a 55-year-old pedophile too. Look at look at how dirty his shirt is. To be fair though, I mean he is he is in a battle royale right now. He's in the shitty version of the Hunger Games. It's not like uh, if he wins, he's gonna be escorted to a city of rich people. And give him rich people stuff. And be able to eat rich people food. No. If he wins this thing, he's just gonna be the last person to be killed by the blue lightning. That's it. That's all he gets. What oh, sorry, son of a bitch. Alright, blue lightning's on top of us. Oh, fuck. Alright, so once we clear the city, we're in the safe zone. But we are not gonna- You see this mini-map right here? We're not gonna be able to clear the goddamn city before the blue hits us. And we got a fucking quarter amount of the health we should have. Shit. Shit. It's a race against time. 
Run, Born! We're gonna make it. Just. Look at this shit. Can we get some slow- Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Fuck my luck so hard! Look at that. We would have been fucking safe if we would have jumped over that. The blue was literally on the fence line. Oh my god. Alright, we got 2 minutes and 20 seconds to head there. And we don't have a lot of time to do it, but we need a fucking health pack, man. We need a health pack now. I'm gonna hope that no one's here, because they would be insane to be here. Everybody that's smart should be on their way to the new safe zone, otherwise they're not gonna fucking make it. Including me. I'm not exempt from that rule, we got two minutes. I'm gonna give myself, uh, until... One minute, thirty seconds, then we gotta move. That's how long I have to search. So let's be quick about this, huh? Let's be nice and fast. Oh shit, helmet. Fuck yeah. That's gonna make absolutely no difference in my dying. I guarantee it. Alright, let's get out of here. There's nothing for us here. Ugh. Oh, fuck, car! Are you hearing that gunfire behind us? <laughs> Shit. No chance in hell I'm going back that way. Who the fuck is still in the city? God damn. Alright. We got another silver lining, guys. I promise I'm not gonna drive this one off the cliff. Let's go, let's go! Boom. That's where we gotta head. This is pretty much the worst fucking place we could be. Let's go to the other side of the safe zone, actually. And let's keep on the lookout for anybody that's got a car. Alright, anybody that's got guns. Really, anybody or anything. Let's just steer, cl steer clear of it, because if somebody got a stray bullet through the windshield of our car and hit us in the shoulder, we would die. That's all it'd take to kill us. Even if it was a 22 long rifle, it would still kill us. Oh, thank you so much. Chat room just said, Yo, Massive. You forgot to change your gun to burst. Actually, chat room had given up on telling me to change my gun to burst fire. They were just telling it to each other. Hey, can you believe this son of a bitch? You forgot to change his gun to burst fire. How long are you gonna bet Massive is gonna survive? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess he's gonna survive another minute. He'll probably survive until the next safe zone, but then he's probably gonna, probably gonna be picked off by somebody with a, with a fry pad. I'm, I'm betting on death by fried pad. Yeah, it's a pretty good bet. I'll take that bet. Well, screw you guys. I think Massive's gonna do a whole lot better than that. I think Massive's gonna last at least three minutes. And, and then he's gonna die by tripping over himself again. Cause nobody kills Massive. Only Massive kills Massive. But this house is dangerous as fuck. Alright, here's what makes me a little less nervous about it. Is the fact that, uh... This car's gonna be a red herring. Uh, this is this is our death. This car means death. Because someone's gonna see that car. And they're gonna know somebody's inside of the building. And then they're gonna hunt us. And they're gonna kill us. But this is so far from where the plane first dropped us. Fuck me. Fuck me, there's somebody in the house. Oh, fuck. Fuck, they heard the car. They heard that goddamn car. They probably don't know where we are, but, uh, uh, chat? Can a door to a house be open without someone opening it? I'm shit my pants right now. We can't take a single bullet. We, we can't take a single bullet with this help. It's not gonna fucking happen. <laughs> my heart is racing. If somebody needs adrenaline, don't give them a shot of hemoglobin. Just, uh, just have them play Battle Royale. I'm gonna take my shoes off. Gotta be real quiet. Real quiet like. Alright. Change your gun to burst fire. Now. Let's slowly head upstairs. Fuck. Only humans can open doors. No house has a door open. Shit. He's gonna have to move soon anyway. Look at where we are. You hear that car? There's a car outside. Oh, it's coming so fucking close. 
So we are really close to the safe zone, but we will be swallowed up in that blue electricity in seconds. Oh my god, gunshots! You know, he could be hiding in the other house. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, footsteps. Okay. So I think I heard somebody to the east of the house. He was to the east of the house, walking outside. I don't know where he is. But we got 15 seconds before the blue electricity starts to swallow us whole. We gotta move. I'm gonna wait, though. I'm gonna wait until the last possible fucking second. Because I know there's a car outside that I can get to if I need a quick escape. Alright? But I'm gonna wait for everybody to be pushed out of... Yeah, right there. That's what I don't want. That's what I don't fucking want. I don't need that shit. I don't need that shit. Uh-uh. <laughs> don't call me Anne Frank. That's so dark. I don't want to die. I know it's a fucking video game. Shut up. Just shut up. I don't know. I don't know, chat. I don't know if I should run. Cat says run. I wish I could cons consult Future Me. Future Me was chat bullshitting. Fuck. Fuck, we gotta run. Oh, fuck, wrong way. Oh, I'm so fucking screwed. Car's still there. Car's still there. Car's still there. Go, 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 go. Oh, I'm fucked. Oh, I am so effed in the A. At least we got, like, no time until we get back in the safe zone. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, it's going... <laughs> it goes faster. The less health you have, it go the, the faster it goes. Because it was taking, it was taking uh, slivers off, and then it started take, taking chunks off when we we're in the deep red. Fuck! I didn't know that. I thought we were gonna escape with a sliver of health, but nope, 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 nope. Ah. Uh. Go Rambo in a Lambo. What do you think this is, GTA 5? I'd love to, though. They should have Lambos in this game. They should have a Lambo be the fastest vehicle. Not by a long shot, you know. Don't make it overpowered. It's not four-wheel drive or anything. But it's really rare. Really rare. And it's really flashy. Like, lens flares are just popping off this thing like a J.J. Abrams movie. <laughs> you know? So whenever you're Ramboing in a Lambo, you are the number one target of the map. Also, it's really loud. It's got like this whiny, high-pitched noise because of the really high-performance engines. So you can hear the Lambo from twice the distance of a normal car. That's a good idea. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Oh, also, um, because of the sleek shape, it cuts a body in half. It'll just cut you right in half if you if you if you road kill somebody. Massive, can you recommend the good TV series out there, please? Whatever good TV series there are. Alright, good TV series would be Breaking Bad. If you haven't seen it, good. Uh, I envy you, because I would love to watch it again for the first time. Breaking Bad, that's one. Another great TV series is uh, Rick and Morty. If you like cartoons, it's, uh, it's a funny show, it's a good show. Don't let the fan base turn you off if you find them annoying, because the show's really good. What else? What else? I know there's something else. Nathan for You is a really funny show if you're looking for comedy. Um, Seinfeld. Gotta love some Seinfeld. Tour of Duty. Band of Brothers. Two great military shows. Uh, what else? Oh, uh, 112363 is a Hulu exclusive show. You can get it on uh, Amazon, though. That's a really entertaining show. It's uh, based off of a Stephen King novel. It's directed by... Can I mute the plane? It's directed by J.J. Abrams. 
and it stars James Franco. Can anyone even hear me? Oh yeah, Star Trek The Next Generation. I haven't seen the Evil Dead TV show. I need to see that. The Pacific, that's a good one. Hogan's Heroes. I fucking love Hogan's Heroes. Thank you. I see nothing. I know nothing. Hogan. God, it's a good show. All right, let's eject. Oh, fuck no. You're not going faster than me. I will Iron Man the shit out of this. He's out Iron Manning me. The son of a bitch. All right. I'm, I, I don't know if he's playing shoot the thrill or whatever, but he's going a lot faster than I am. He's channeling his Iron Man ten times my Iron Man. Let's go to this uh, housing establishment. Hope to God that that guy, I'm going to call him Gary. Let's hope that rival Gary doesn't get a gun before we do, even though he probably will, and I'm just, I'm effed in the A. You know what, let's just run. Let's just run. Let's forget about these houses and let's just run. Some of these guys are sick. Some people play this game to kill instead of instead of to survive. You know, some people don't care how far they get in the game. They just care how many kills they get. I'm not one of those people. I'm a survivor. At least I'd like to think that I am. I aspire to be. But, uh, yeah, if we want to survive, let's just get the hell out of here. This place is too dangerous. Let's play smart. <laughs> I'll remember to be quiet next time so you can hear the plane. <laughs> That's good. That's really good. I like that. We good? Still good. Thank God Gary's being a slacker. I don't know why I called him Gary. I should call him Red because he's obviously the one that slept in. I didn't sleep in. Look at me. I'm beating my feet. I'm running. I'm, mar I'm goddamn marathon man over here. I'm the one that got the uh, Charmander or Squirtle. Bulbasaur, whatever. He's only got the Pikachu. Electric Mouse. Yeah, I'll take a Fire Dragon. Thank you very much. Charmander isn't my favorite Pokemon, though. Um, My favorite Pokemon... You know, it's hard to choose my favorite Pokemon. I really like uh, Mightyena. Mightyena. You'd think I know how to pronounce it. Um, What else do I like? Really like Lucario. Nobody camping in the bathroom. That's a good sign. Level 2 backpack. Nice shit. Good shit, good shit. Alright, let's get out of here. I feel lucky. I feel blessed. Now, if I can just make it out of here with this backpack, that would be awesome. Awesome. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank on all kinds of Pokemon. I love Pokemon. Pokemon's great. You are the Maze Runner. Austin, don't say that. Don't, 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 don't say that. I don't want to be the Maze Runner. That means I gotta worry about people. Assholes, too. God damn, the Maze Runner had some assholes in it. Fuck. That hurt my steps. Anyway, I also gotta worry about giant spiders. I don't wanna worry about no spiders. I don't wanna worry about no city being burned and scorched. And diseases. I got enough shit to worry about. What if the next shotgun I pick up is a mimic? Oh. Oh, that's just great. Damn it! Thanks! Thanks a lot, Austin! Now I'm gonna be scorched by fucking Napalm! I'm in a bombing area. I'm in a fucking bombing area. You know what? I hope that if I see a person, we're just gonna call truce or some shit, you know? Is that a working car? Is that a working car? I... I, I don't know. I'm gonna check. Uh, uh, yes. Yes, it is. Come on, Dacia. Go, 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 go! Get the hell out of here! Time to eat dust and burn rubber. I mean, time to burn dust and eat rubber. I fucked up my own pun. Let's go. Jesus. Oh, god damn. Damn you, Austin! You are my Gary. From now on, you are known as Gary. Oh. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. Whew. Fast and the Furious 9. This time, it's a Dacia. This time, 
It's not family, it's... Kill family. <laughs> Doesn't have to make sense, because I'm saying it in a trailer voice. And it's fast and furious. It doesn't make sense anyway. It's all about the family. Hey, look. You kind of look like Vin Diesel from the back. You know, just not, I'm not thick enough. Thick? He's thick. His neck's thick. Mm. Got some of those strong man neck folds in the back. Mm. Gotta love those. Little sausages. Little, little neck sausages. No way in hell I'm going over there. That guy's the same dossier that I do. He's probably in another multiverse. Instead of pretending he's Vin Diesel. You know? He's probably pretending he's the rock. Yeah, well I don't I don't I don't I don't roll that way. Alright, I'm about family. If those houses are safe, I don't trust them. Uh, I'm gonna say they're safe because there's a car right behind us. And who the hell would leave a car, you know? This doesn't make any sense. I don't. Oh fuck! Doors open. Nope. Nope. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I don't need that shit. Oh fuck! Yeah, good call. Good call. What kind of an idiot just opens his position like that with a shot he knew he couldn't make? What the hell is this? Border patrol? Massive, would you pretty, pretty, pretty please do your Obama voice? What the hell is with all these cars? I can't do my Obama voice with all these goddamn cars around. Oh, fuck, he's coming after me. Wait, is he? No, he's going his own way. He, th he thinks he's being sneaky, hiding in that hangar. Michelle is, uh, making cookies. Oh, fuck. No, no, I can't. It's been so long. <laughs> before I became president, uh, which I am now, I am, well, I, I used to be president, but before I became president, I was driving my dossier, getting shot to hell, and Michelle was making cookies. Fucking fuck. 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 Did I have any guns? Because of the impression, wasn't it? <laughs> the Cosmos spawned a player that wasn't even there to shoot the fucking hell out of me because of that awful impression. Mm. I didn't see him. You know what's crazy? I have never seen as large an amount of people as I saw in that in the end of that last match. We saw one, two, three, four. Like, five different people within the span of a minute. How the hell do you explain that? A couple of them were in cars. A couple of them weren't. What the fuck? What the fuck is this shit, chat? Oh, let's get back in. You fall off your bike, get right back on it. I'm eating three pounds of meat while watching this live stream. <laughs> Michael Rosen. My spirit animal over here. <laughs> you know what I ate today for breakfast? I had a cinder block and an engine block. And I washed it down with motor oil and bear piss. <laughs> I didn't eat that. <laughs> Just the bear piss. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I know. I, I All that running and driving... Didn't count for shit. I don't even have a gun. <sighs> that was supremely frustrating. And that's why I played this game. Where could I have hid? Riddle me this. Cars and people everywhere. Wh I can't even think what is going on. What are these people practicing? Or are they just like the noise it makes? I think they like the noise it makes. I wish I had a gun. Now I feel left out. Anyway. Where do you hide in a city with nowhere to hide, you know? How do you even trust it? I can't trust it. I can't, I just can't do it. I get in this rut where I just want to keep running. You know, I don't want to stay in one place. I don't want to be stationary. Although, 
You know, you are kind of geared to think that being stationary means death. Even with evolution. Just kind of have that instinct to keep moving. Or maybe that's because my father was an abusive alcoholic and my mother and him left me in an alleyway when I was three. I don't know. Where are we dropping off at? Okay. I think I know where I want to go. So the plane is just slicing the lowest part of the map possible. Look at this. Look at this. This plane is slicing in uh, the lower part of Block M. That's crazy. This this is going to be a wildlands right here. It's going to be a completely unknown badlands. Look at the size of this map. What the fuck? You see this? No way. Holy crap. How did he get over there? That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm going to get as far to the middle of the map as I possibly can while I'm in the air. I think that's the smart thing to do. Oh, shit. Everybody had my idea. That's one of the great things about playing with as many people as 90 at a time. Is the fact that you realize you're not, you're not original. You're no snowflake. You're just that, like, little clump of snow that lands in somebody's eyebrow and they go, Ah, oh, fuck. Slap it off. You're not the precious little snowflake that they hold in their glove and take a little photo and post on Instagram. Uh-uh. You're not the, you're not the type of snowflake that teenage girls take pictures of. And then put all kinds of shitty filters over because nature's not as pretty as a shitty Instagram filter. If our player, our player character in H1Z1, I mean player unknown battlegrounds, if our player was a type of a snowflake, he wouldn't be a snowflake, he would be the tobacco that you gotta scrape off the bottom of your shoe because some jackass spit it out on concrete pavement sidewalk. That's us. That's us. We don't have any reason to be here. We don't have any right to win this thing. Are we the best shooter in the world? No. Are we the best hider or runner in the world? <laughs> I think that's obvious. <laughs> uh, no. How the hell is that guy still parachuting? But you know what? We still pick ourselves up, put our brain matter back inside of our hollowed out skull, dust ourselves off, and then go get shot again. We are, uh, we are resilient. We are persistent. That is our superpower. Damn, that's a big first aid kit. It's not the coolest superpower, but it's, you know, it's, it's worth something. Not worth anything right now, but eventually it will be. Sometimes that's the, exactly the type of man that uh, gets the first place. It's not the man that Battlegrounds wants. Sometimes it's the man that Battlegrounds needs. Shittiest campaign speech ever. Looks like these buildings are safe, so let's keep checking them. Only maybe let's be a little more careful and not run everywhere, you know? Their loud ass feet. Our Bigfoot Peggy Hill feet. Ah, oh, thank God that bathroom's empty. It's funny, you have just as much relief when the bathroom's empty in the game as you do in real life, you know? Got the bathroom all to yourself. Fuck yes! Such a good feeling. Nice, we're in the safe zone. One less thing to worry about. One more thing to worry about, though, is that the safe zone is above uh, uh, everything else, which means... Everybody that landed on Line M is going to be coming up here, just like I thought. It's going to be the Badlands. You'd think the higher up you go, the safer you would be, because it's the further away from the spawn. But uh, I don't think that's true, because I think that everybody thinks that. Or maybe, because everybody thinks that everybody thinks that, nobody thinks that in the end. So instead of everybody going to where everybody would think that people would go, everybody's going to go exactly where nobody would think anybody would go, and that's where everyone's going to be. It's, it's, uh, it's a conundrum. Hey, this kind of looks like Maximus's uh, driveway and Gladiator. <laughs> driveway. Oh, it looks like Maximus's walkway to his little vineyard, little pueblo, with his 
with his wife and his beautiful kid. Hung by the neck, charred, lifeless. I love that movie. Not because of that scene. I mean, it's a great scene. But it's not that I derive pleasure from the scene. I'm just, I'm just gonna stop digging this hole any deeper. Massive, why do you get the grenades? Or any smoke? You know, I have... What? Why? What? God, stop running like a coward, please! Aston McWaters! I know you're in the game. I know you're fucking game. You're trying to stream snipe me, but you don't know where I am. Yeah, I'm gonna keep running. You know why? That's what survivors do. I'm not in this game for bloodshed. I could play Call of Duty if I wanted that. See that, uh, that military supply drop? That's not gonna help these people win the game. Everybody's gonna swarm on that, and they're all gonna cannibalize each other. That right there isn't to help them win the game. It's to help me win the game. So while they're all killing themselves, I am gonna be surviving. Getting med packs, useful shit like that. Hello there. In fact, I have not seen a lot of people, uh, like in the last 10 or 15 survivors. I've not seen a lot of people in the last 10 or 15 actually have really fancy gear. They just got some simple shit, but they knew how to survive. You just need a good, basic, useful gun. You know, that's pretty much it. You don't need anything too fancy. What's more important is your reflexes and your adaptability to whatever situation you might be in. But the reason I don't use smoke is because I don't find it that useful. Smoke would probably be very useful in the end game when you're in a really tiny circle, but as far as encountering other players, I've always been able to see them through the smoke. And I've actually killed a lot of people through smoke because they think that, they, that I can't see them, but I can see them just fine. Although smoke might be useful as an unconventional diversion. If you're not actually inside of the smoke, but they think that you are. And you're just, you know, they're looking at the smoke and you're behind them. They think you're in the smoke, but uh, you're just aiming up that crossbow because you got really shitty aim. So you got to be like two inches away from their skull. Shit. I'm running. <laughs> Fuck. Jump, jump, jump! Oh, let's get out of here. Shit! Shit! <laughs> Woo! I know I'm running uphill. Really bad idea. But, once I get downhill, there'll be even more cover in me. That guy's got a fucking shotgun. I shot a bolt at him, but it didn't hit. If it did, it would have been a one-hit kill. What an idiot. Stop shooting at me, man. Now you're just giving your position away. People are so kill happy in this game. Not that I'm doing any better than them right now, but uh, if you cannot make the shot, it's probably not worth giving your position away. Ah, oh, he's coming. He, he came after me. Look at that. I mean, he's not coming after me still, I don't think, but he's trying. As far as I can tell, the only thing that really gives you points is winning. At least that's how it should be. Makes it interesting. I'm actually kind of sad about Daisy. I know it's a meme now, you know, that Daisy sucks. And this game is a better Daisy than Daisy was. But a lot of people forget that even though Daisy turned into this game, basically, people were just hunting each other at the end. Daisy was so much more than a Battle Royale game. It was so much more than King of the Kill, uh, Whatever that one game was, the, the Culling. It's more than the Culling or Battlegrounds or uh, King of the Kill. It wasn't meant to be Battle Royale. It turned into that, but it was supposed to be a survival game. You didn't know if you could trust people. You know? You were trying to survive from the zombies. Sometimes you could trust people, sometimes you couldn't. Where in this game, every single time you see a person, it's a kill scenario. In DayZ, it was about finding water and food to survive. Not because of health, but because of thirst and hunger. Finding med packs to survive because of health. Uh, watching your temperature at night, sometimes having to make a fire, sometimes eating something that's warm, cooking food, um, s surviving hordes of zombies that sometimes just overwhelmed you. Shit like that is what it was supposed to be originally. And that is what could have made it amazing. But, 
I don't know. It had really rocky development, and it's really unfortunate what happened because I think it could have been an amazing game, but it's not. And it's in a pretty broken state right now, so. I would call it unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Because I really truly believe that it could have been awesome. And you know what? I did have a lot of fun playing it. Back when I did play it. Alright, I already have that. I'll take the ammo though. Oh fuck yeah, shotgun. Anybody? This is where I'm always afraid they are. Hiding inside of the bathroom, ready to shoot. Alright, let's reload that shotgun stat. Wish I found more med packs. That would be nice. Massive, I'm curious, how many hours of video games do you play each day? I honestly can only stand two hours. What about you? It depends on the day, and depends on the game. Sometimes I don't play a lot of video games a day at all. You know, maybe I'm outside, or maybe I'm doing life stuff. But, I mean, as a whole, across my life, I've played a lot of video games. What the hell is this chat? Hearing this shit. Did he see me? Is he leaving? What the hell was that? I think he was just circling the house to see if anybody was inside it. I thought he saw me at first, but he didn't. Or what he's gonna do is he's gonna park it far away and then come back after me. I'm not gonna fall for that shit either. Let's go. I'm not messing around, baby! <laughs> yeah, bitch! Oh, I should have left the door closed so he could have faked himself out. I can see it now, he's shitting himself, opening that bathroom door, expecting the worst. Nobody's in there. Uh, did I just break the car? Car's good, car's good. Alright, 48 alive. Not bad. We have a shotgun, I don't like the crossbow, so honestly, I'd really like to have an AK or an M16. But, we're okay right now. We got a decent setup as far as weapons are concerned. I don't like that we don't have a fully automatic. I feel like that's pretty key. But we do have a med pack and some bandages in a car, so we could be doing a lot worse. Now let's see what's inside of this place. Now that I made enough noise to wake the dead. So fucking dark. Okay, let's take our shoes off. What do bullet loops do anyway? Does it make reloading faster? I'm not going in that, uh. I'm not going in that attic. No chance in hell. Could be an M16 up there. Attics are one of the best places to hide. You know how many different angles you gotta check? 360 degrees, practically. Well, not 360 in this attic's case, but most attics. They're fully and completely open, which makes them terrifying. Level 3 backpack, I'll be damned. And a med pack, beautiful. Alright, where's the uh, area going to be restricted to? Are we in a safe zone right now? We are in a safe zone. Just barely. I'm considering just holding up here for a little bit. Wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. Especially as far as the fence is concerned, because check this out. Look at that, that's perfect. That's so perfect. I don't know if we can shoot through cardboard boxes, but I'm pretty sure we can. If you hit tab, you can see everything on the ground within your 
immediate radius, but sometimes I've seen something that I was standing right next to not show up in my vicinity. Usually ammunition. Maybe that's how it works. Maybe you can basically see anything but ammunition in your vicinity, and ammunition's glitched right now. <laughs> you joke, but that, that was actually a really effective horror story for kids. When I was growing up, the calls coming from inside the house, that was scary shit. And for those of you that don't know the story, basically it goes like this. You know, you're sitting at home, got a friend over, or maybe your uh, siblings there, your sister or your brother. Phone rings. You pick it up. There's a stranger on the other line. The voice says that they'll be there in five minutes. Then they hang up. You think, what the fuck was that? Be there in five minutes? I didn't order pizza. They call back again. Two and a half minutes later, they'll be there in two and a half minutes. Then they call back in one minute. You know, one minute to go. Seconds are counting down. You wait for the line on the other end and they say, they're coming down the stairs. Then you hear footsteps. And you're like, oh, fuck! It's my dad playing a joke on me. <laughs> or it's a serial killer, you know. I don't know if your parents ever play practical jokes on you, but my mother loved to do that shit. My father, too. Couple times a week. Holy shit, look at this. This is what daddy was looking for. Oh, yeah. Mmm. S. K. S. We can pick up all the shit we want. We got so much space. Anything I can put on these babies? No, no, no. I should pick up a red dot set at some point. I couldn't trust my household. My parents love to pull pranks on me. Scary shit, too. One of them would pretend, pretend, pretend they're dead on the floor. And this is when I was really young, when my father was still alive. Uh, like, uh, my mother would pretend she's dead on the floor. And, <laughs> uh, you know, I'd race up to her or something, and my father would just burst out from the closet next to her. Scare the shit out of me, thinking that there was a killer in the house. <laughs> it's great. Right, let's get that SKS loaded up. Oh, shit. I forgot, we're right on the edge of the safe zone. All right, as soon as the uh, uh, blue electricity is at us, we're going to watch where it goes from here. Is that the bunker? Holy crap. We should go to the fucking bunker. No, we shouldn't. I'm sure the bunker's dangerous. we got 2 minutes and 30 seconds to go. Yeah, I think bunker's no longer in the safe zone. That's too bad. Yeah, bunker's definitely not in the safe zone. Alright, uh, let's start moving out. Why not? Now, if I was playing by myself, which, you know, I should start playing this game when I'm live streaming, like I, like I play by myself, because it's a lot safer. You're a lot more likely to win. I should stay here for another minute. If I was being smart, but I'm not. So, uh, let's move out now. Which is supremely stupid. Wait, are we out of gas? Nah, we're okay. We're okay. It just takes a while to get going. Um, we need to go... I have no idea where we need to go. This whole place is so small, it looks dangerous. We got 30 people alive. This is ridiculous. I really should have stayed where I was. You know what? I'll stay here. I know you guys like to change the scenery now and then. Reflection of that metal scared the shit out of me. I should have worn my brown pants. Place doesn't seem too looted. No, my father passed away. He, uh, and my mother too. They didn't split up or anything. They were cool people, though. Really cool people. Couldn't have asked for a better mother or father. Ooh, pan. Apparently pans actually act as very effective butt armor. So I'm definitely equipping that shit. Nice! We got a lot of bullets. Let's not be worried about wasting that. Let's just waste that shit and hopefully waste some people. 
Uh, what's that? Level one? I think we got a level two. Let's check it up. We got a level. Well, we got a level one, but it's full, so we'll just keep that. We got a ballistics mask. We look like a scary Korea military man. <laughs> and do we have a helmet? Yeah. Awesome. We're good. This is a pretty nice little place too. Oh shit. Oh shit. Restricting play area. Let's go. Let's go. We're here just a little too long. I didn't expect it to get interesting. I didn't expect to find any good loot. I thought it was going to be dangerous and scary, so I would just let you know, stay near the entrance. Clear skies from here. I'm feeling pretty good about it. 27 alive. Let's just watch the rocks, watch the forest. I bet you somebody's running for the hills. Too bad it's not a jungle, because I could have made an awesome pun. Actually, isn't it running through the hill- OH FUCK! Isn't that part of an Iron Maiden song? SHIT! SHIT! Didn't work out for him. Good. I don't even know if they hit us. They hit the car. But I think we're, uh, keeping the same damage we had before. Shit. The problem with so many people being alive is there's no safe place. We're in a really, really small area of the map. All of us. And there's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to go that is safe. I think I... Oh, fuck. Fuck. Did you see that lag? Shit. I saw somebody, but I couldn't turn around in time. I'm shocked that we're alive. We're at the edge of the safe zone. Oh shit, we don't have any tires left. Fuck. Alright, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and find a place to hide and then get out of the car. Whew. Somebody in there? No, it's empty. What the hell do we do, guys? What the hell do I new chat? Do I get the car? No, it's not gonna the car. Forget about the car. Car almost got us killed three times now. Run to the hills, yes, thank you. I thought that's what it was called. Fucking prawns. Don't you dare drop that pack. Actually, please. <laughs> Let's watch those houses, because uh, I'm about to get my shit pushed in here. But. Everyone's going to be going to that military supply crate that just dropped, and hopefully I can snipe some of them. As long as they're not coming from behind me, which they might. Let's stay in the bush. I don't see anybody. How do I use bandages? Doesn't look like I can. Yeah, I can't use bandages right now. I thought maybe bandages could not only stop bleeding, but heal up a tiny sliver of your health. Looks like they mainly just stop bleeding. You know what? If anybody was camped inside of the house, they probably didn't even see that supply crate. They, they heard the plane, but they probably just brushed it off, didn't even think about it. So that's not going to get the maggots out of the woodwork. We still have to watch all sides. Play area is going to be restricted very soon. Oh shit, it's restricting now. Where am I? Oh, I'm on the inside, thank god. <laughs> I got panicky for no reason. Okay, okay, let's just stay calm. Yeah, we're in the we're in the fucking middle. It's great. It's just great. Oh shit, there it is. Supply crate has landed. Now, I know I've been preaching that this game ain't about kills. But if I get a shot, I think I should take it. You hear that? I think I hear that. No, I didn't hear shit. Thought I heard footsteps behind me. 19 alive, and we got a tiny little circle. This is insane. Shit. I don't I don't like being in the middle of the circle. I don't like that. 
I got a tan helmet too, so I just got a big red target on my forehead. Maybe in the shape of an L. If there's enough gunfire, I may be able to take the shot without worrying about people uh, getting suspicious, you know? Could just become like ambient background noise. Chat says, don't take the shot. I love how excited you guys are about Star Citizen. I'm really excited about Star Citizen. 3.0. 3.0 is featuring planetary landings. 3.0 is the big one. It's the big kahuna. It's the big update. And it should be coming this summer. I heard a car. It's not coming near us. Not yet. It's getting tense. <laughs> Alright, I'll get in the bush. I'll get in the bush. I don't know how well that bush is going to protect me anyway. It's not too big. Can we talk about how crazy this is? We are smack dab in the middle of the safe zone. Which is about to become restricted. And we haven't seen anybody. I feel like that means we're like three times as likely to see somebody in 15 seconds. Shit. Oh, that's close. <sighs> Zero hour. 9 a.m. And I'm gonna be high as a kite pilot. And it's gonna be a long time. Before the people with guns come to take my life. Guys, where is everybody? You got nine alive, including me. Oh, I see somebody. You see him? Oh, fuck. I see two people. Do I take the shot? Does he see me? Was that him? He's right there. Yeah, yeah, I see him, I see him. I don't think he sees me. If he sees me, we kill him. If he doesn't, it wouldn't be smart to. Because then everybody's gonna know where I am. So far, it looks like maybe one person does, but that's it. Maybe we got like one of those unspoken truths, you know? Chat's like, no, don't do it. He doesn't see you, don't do it. All right, chat. You know why I like taking your advice? Because I can blame you. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, fuck, I don't have any shoes on. Let's give my position away. Stop scratching your feet, stop moving. All right, a lot of the gunfire around us is coming, uh, it's coming from behind us. All right, we are actually at the edge of the safe zone. Oh, shit. Guys, we're at the edge of the safe zone. You know what that means? That means old Sneaky over here, he's going to have to start moving. No, he's, he's going to have to start moving now. This place is getting restricted. Oh, fuck. That was a lot of bullets. All right, I got one person. Barefoot Joe is dead, but who else we got? Where the fuck was that guy near the tree? <laughs> Where the fuck was that guy near the tree? Still in the safe zone. Still in the safe zone. I'm right up on the edge. One of my strategies is staying up near the edge as long as I humanly possibly can. That's what I'm doing right now. Do it. I did it, guys. Don't worry. I'll draw blood whenever I need to. I'm not a pacifist. I'm just careful. Do what must be done. That's my motto. Do not hesitate. Show no mercy. 
And then we shall be known as... Darth Battlegrounds. Went a little star scream there. Oh shit, three alive, I didn't even notice. What the fuck did you guys have to tell me? You sons of bitches. We got 40 seconds, we should start moving. Right? That's not just me, right? We should start moving. We don't want to get swallowed up. Let's be slow, though. Let's be... aware. Okay. Okay. 15 seconds. Shit. Shit. Wait a second, what's my grenade? That should distract him. Five seconds. I'm hoping that distracts him instead of drawing attention to my position. Yeah, that's not gonna distract anybody. I wish we could have made that one. Son of a bitch. Well, they didn't see my uh, they didn't see my smoke grenade, so <sighs> I was good on that front. But um, I could have gotten that guy if I would have just gone back into first person. I swear you're more accurate in first person. <sighs> so we let's quick replay, <laughs> play by play replay. We uh, we went prone. We got a couple shots at him in first person. You know he was bleeding out. Um, then we had to reload. While we were reloading, he reset his sights back on me, but he didn't open fire until I was finished reloading. And when I opened fire, for some reason, my shots were not landing on him, even though my crosshairs were directly over him. Which I'm assuming is because I wasn't being accurate enough in third person. Anyway, first person is king for gun battles, in my opinion. Match is finished. Match is done. Gildy killed Cameron, who killed me. Did Gilda kill me or did Cameron kill me? I hope Gildy killed me. I at least want the winner to have been the one that killed me. Fuck, I was so close. Ugh. Why'd you take the shot? I took the shot because he saw me. Hold the L. I don't know what the L is. Everybody's saying hold the L. What is the L? I should have pressed F to pay respects. So I should have done. The Station of Life knows what I'm talking about. Anyway... That was, uh, that was pretty close. We always seem to get to three. We've gotten to three plenty of times in live streams, but... <sighs> number one. Number one's where it's at. I should do a live stream where we don't stop streaming until we get to number one, but... <laughs> that was pretty exciting. That's enough excitement for me for today. I'm gonna go outside and enjoy the outside air. Get some exercise in. I, s I screwed the pooch! You guys are right. We'll we'll get there eventually. But you know what? I'm going to do some shoutouts right now. So if you guys enjoyed, subscribe for more streams like this for videos and stuff. Like the video or don't whatever. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out from with me mainly. That's that's what I'm concerned about is just having some fun. So thank you for having fun with me and we'll have some fun again very soon. Also, I don't know if I can talk about this. I'm going to assume that I can. I've been invited out to LA to a developer studio for a game. I can't tell you what game it is. It's I'm leaving tomorrow and I'm going to be able to get some exclusive footage exclusive to the events anyway, but it should be cool. It should be cool. I think it's going to be a game that's going to be a lot of fun. But stay tuned for that in the next few days. Shout outs commencing now. Shout out to Eric Fraumich. I am sorry, Eric. Next time I'll do it correctly. Shout out to Abdul, shout out to Speedo Dude, shout out to Master of Nothing 83, shout out to Beaver Bean, shout out to Chance, shout out to Gareth Happy, shout out to Hans Nielsen, Hans, Hans Nielsen, shout out to Kyle Van Manen, shout out to Samuel Crowder, shout out to If I Ever Comment, Just Hold the L. 
Still don't know what that means. Shout out to Steven Byron. Shout out to Will Craig. I love that old school Star Trek avatar, Will. Shout out to Sioli Me. Shout out to Darth Zulagurg. Zulaga. Is that Darth Zulaga? I think it's Zulaga. It looks like he's got a Darth Maul avatar. Is that a Star Wars character I don't know about? Is that a Legends character or a canon character? I need to get to the bottom of this. Maybe it's an OC character. That was redundant. Original character character. Come on, Massive. <laughs> Shout out to JJL. Shout out to Sam Deck. Will you be at E3? Yes, I will be at E3 and EA Play. Shout out to hopefully PAX as well. Shout out to Nathan Thwaites. Shout out to Dylan Gonzalez. Shout out to Bliss the Buddy. Shout out to Stone Rochelle. Shout out to Jump the World Gaming. Is that like the super version of Jumping the Shark? Shout out to GP Guy. Shout out to Albert Babu. Shout out to the Gaming Kid123. Shout out to Jay Spencer00. Deez Potatoes. Shout out to Joris Dino, Ashton McWaters, Chris Stiff, shout out to Gaming Croissant, shout out to Roosley Villanor, Serial Gaming, Braden the Legend, The Fox, shout out to Banana, shout out to The Fox, shout out to Aiden Fogarty, shout out to Caden Gold, thank you Caden, shout out to Species 316, shout out to Julian, shout out to Little Big Sam, shout out to Alberto Perez, best name ever, Kyle Van Man and Cools 80, Sketchy Shorten, shout out to Dead Man Walking, Eric, Swagadag, Pizza is Good, and Grass Tastes Bad. That's the two minute shout out timer, and as always guys, I love you, I have fun with this, and let's have some more fun again soon. I got a, I got a, 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 a tidy little motel room, just on the edge of town, it's a nice little bed and breakfast type of a deal. There's a Denny's just across the road, you know, let's just get away together for a little while. Just you and me. And in the morning, we can go get Denny's and forget about the atrocity we committed the night before. <laughs> I love you guys. Maybe pizza is good. Maybe, maybe you'll take me up on that. You know, we, we can get pizza at Denny's. It's not the best pizza, but it's, it's, well, it's, 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 it's pizza. And pizza is good. I'll see you guys again soon. And until then, game massively. Good luck on the battlegrounds. Here's an unrelated outro for you.